All right, so uh, let's move on to number two. Now, number two uh, focuses on uh, the base being a fraction, like with uh, one half here. Uh, so uh, with a one half, we say, hmm, do we like to work with fractions? Okay, we don't really like to work with fractions. So uh, that means uh, some preferred exponents would be, the preferred exponents would be, negative, like maybe uh, zero, negative one, and negative two, because uh, if they are no longer, if, uh, if the exponent is a negative, that means it's a reciprocal. And what's the reciprocal of one half? Two. So that's why we say, ah, yeah, well, for the exponents, we prefer to have zero, negative one, and negative two. But in order to create those exponents, we will ask, hmm, so what should our x be? We say x would be, or to create zero, we would need x being negative one, okay? So we say, hmm, if x is negative one, uh, so we will have a zero for the exponent, one half to the zero power, it's one. One times two is two. Two minus three is? Negative one. So we have negative one comma negative one. Okay, to create an exponent of negative, negative one, we will need x value to be negative two. Let's say uh, negative two, uh, negative two to, uh, negative two minus one, uh, plus one, it's negative one. One half to the negative one power is two. Two times two is four. Four minus three is one. So at negative two, it is one. So to create a power of negative two, so if we want the exponent to be negative two, we will need an x value of negative three. So uh, for negative three, uh, so x is negative three, ne negative three plus one, it's negative two. So the exponent is negative two. One half to the negative two power, it's four. Four times two is eight, eight minus three, it's five. five. So we have this number right here. Now we also need to find out our y-intercept. So, uh, so we have to uh, put x equal to zero. So uh, zero plus one, it's one. So one half to the first power, it's just one half. One half times two is one. One minus three is negative two. So we have this. And our horizontal asymptote, because uh, it has been moved down three units. Well, yeah, yeah, I can make y intercept as one of the points. Okay, and then uh, make sure you go all the way and put an arrowhead on both uh, on, uh, on each end of the graph. So uh, you also want to make the dots very visible. Okay, I'm not asking for a perfect graph, but I want to at least have something that makes sense. Uh, asymptote is y goes to negative three. It's also a decay because it's going down. The domain, it's uh, all real numbers. So from negative infinity to infinity. And the range, it's from negative three going all the way up, okay? So, so that's what you do with the, uh, with the uh, fraction as a base of the exponential function. You think about what kind of exponents you want. We say we want some negative exponents overall because uh, uh, negative exponent means reciprocal. So uh, reciprocal of one half means two. So that's how you can compute your numbers a lot easier. You're not dealing with a lot of fractions. So that's nice. That's a nice way to uh, handle uh, a fraction as the base of the exponential function.